Marty music. Gonna teach another Queen classic. Hope you guys dig it. Also, I appreciate you uh, subscribing right here to Marty Music and clicking that bell up there, that red bell. Really helps my channel out and I really appreciate it. Let's break it down. All right, so I'm gonna be adding a little bit of the bass and piano within this uh, arrangement of the song for you guys. We're gonna start with a C minor chord. So Bart on the third fret, A minor shape. And you can arpeggiate it. You know, from the high E or from the B. The next chord is G minor seven, so it's like a G bar chord here. Let me turn my distortion off. It's just like a G minor with the pinky off. So you have a C minor. And so that first one's straight. One, two, da, 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 da. But then the next, uh, the next few, there's a little rest, like C minor, rest, G minor seven. Rest. So rest, dun dun. Next part. Right? So, it's an E flat major chord. So we're barring across the sixth fret, A major looking shape. And you can arpeggiate that first one, E, ba, da, da. And I'm just going from the, from the B string, G, D, right? So then I'm adding my pinky here to the ninth fret of the B string. So that becomes E flat, sus, four. So there's a little variation on that. So you have E major, sus4, then E flat major, and then uh, now chubby fingers make a little bit harder, but you're basically playing that E flat major and you hit the high E, which is being covered right there on the sixth fret, then the sus. So sixth fret, ninth fret B, and you can go like that. So like that. Let's do it from the top. And then we'll go into the power chord kick in. So C minor, G minor seven, C minor. Rest on the C minor arpeggiate. Rest on the then C minor arpeggiate. Rest on the E flat major arpeggiate up. Then E flat major very vari variation. Now where our finger already, our finger is already on the root here for the next power chord section. I'm using a king of tone overdrive for this. <laughs> And so you're gonna do what you're already here on E flat major, you just play the power chord. I, I, a lot of times I'll switch my pinky there just for the stretching, it's comfortable for my hand. You can use your ring finger or your pinky, but it's an E flat power chord, so six and eight on the A and D. Then index goes down a half step. while the ring finger stays. So that's on the eight, and that's on the five of the A. So E flat, half step down, C power chord. Third fret power chord on the A string. Then F, so first fret of the E, power chord. 
then next door to the B flat. So you go. Up to the C into the chorus. So from the. Uh, And then we have the chorus, and it's F, F major to A minor. Okay, then B flat power chord or major. I'm just doing like a fat power chord. One, three, three. B flat to C. Like that. I think even on the recording, he's even uh, he's even going he's even getting the low string in there. So you have B flat. Open A, third fret E, second fret. And that's like this little diminished thing that's going on. And so what I'm doing is I'm, uh, you know, I'm kind of adding little bits of the different instruments, but you, when you hit that, you're gonna go, which is just a nice little lick in there, which is the open D, hammer to the first fret D, open D, so. And you want that F still ringing out. So check it out. G minor, then up to B flat minor, which we'll just play on the E string as well, sixth fret minor. And then we're gonna do this little diminished run, so check it out. We are the champions. So I'm sliding from the B flat, which is sixth fret. So I'm going from six up to nine, six, seven, eight, nine, then 12, and then middle finger on 10 of the A. So B flat to ra bum bum. Then we're gonna play an F. And here's what I like to do. This is mostly a vocal harmony going on here, but we can go. And we just emphasize that G note. We're playing F, ring finger's gonna come off, and then hit this G. And if you get other other notes in there, it's cool. Really emphasizing that note, but the other notes in that chord are gonna work. And 
then just a uh, very friendly bar chord on the fourth fret. We'll call it G sharp. Then up a whole step to A sharp or B flat. It's the same. So we call this A flat. B flat. So fourth fret bar chord. Sixth fret bar chord. And then it's a hit on C, and you can do, it, I mean, almost like, man, I would do octaves. But a B flat over C is uh, cool. Or just a C note. And, it's an, and then it goes into F, and it's... Just piano. Into the next verse. And so to do it on guitar, if you don't have your piano player, you can play an F minor. F minor seven. Take your pinky off. And then slide it up a whole step. But just focus on that B. Uh, B, G, and D uh, when you slide it up. And then on the third one, C, C, and I'm playing an octave. You can play C minor 7. I think the octave sounds pretty good. And then you start over. And I'm going to uh, do a video soon on the licks. get it going. All right, there it was. Thank you again, you guys. Really appreciate you supporting Marty Music. You can request your own songs that you'd like to see me teach in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe right here to Marty Music. Thanks again. Hope to see you real soon.